Hello and welcome to the 47th tutorial in the Colcos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at scene transitions. In the previous tutorials we've been looking at actual scenes, how to replace a scene, pop a scene, push a scene, but at the moment it's been very boring, you click a button and it's just immediately taking you to that scene. But we're looking to transition to games, sometimes have a fade transition or a flip transition, etc. etc. Sometimes they are custom, they have coded them themselves. But Cocos 2D or Cocos 2DX in this case has a huge amount of animations for screens and for objects or sprites already built in which is fantastic and it's very easy to use so you don't have to code it and make sure it works on every single device it automatically does all that for you so this tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 46 if you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial I'm just gonna go and open up the project from tutorial 46 Once it's open, I'm going to go to the myapp.js and just down here in the play function. Actually, before I do anything, I'm just going to run it so you can see what, what it does at the moment. We have a screen, we click play, it takes us to the new scene, click go back, it takes us back to the my scene. Very boring, very simple. So let's just go and add some animation. Here, you want to enclose the scene inside a transition. So you want to do CC dot and then the actual animation or the transition you're going to be using. The first one I'm going to show you is transition fade. So transition fade dot create open bracket first you specify how long you want the uh, the transition to take I'm put 0 0.5 seconds and then you simply put a comma just close the bracket and we click play as you can see it did a fade animation I'm gonna increase the time to two seconds so you can see it a little better. He generally would have it this long. As you can see, you can see. The frame rate in this emulator, as you can see, it's about 17, 15. It's getting up to about 20 sometimes. Generally on a real device, on a simple game, you're gonna be hitting the 60 frames per second mark. So it's gonna look a lot better on an actual device. But that's it at two seconds. Generally you would have it at about half a second or so. The next animation I'm going to show you is called Transition Jump Zoom. So Transition Jump Zoom. And same with this, it takes two parameters. The first being the how long you want the transition to last. I'm going to put 0 0.75 for this one. And the actual scene that you want to um, do the animation to. You can do it on a... Uh, replay scene as well, I mean a push scene as well if you want it. It's not restricted to a push scene. I mean a replay scene, sorry. Click play. Show you again. It's just sort of like a jumping animation. This personally isn't a favourite transition. I personally wouldn't use it but you you may want to. And the final transition I'm going to show you is transition zoom flip y. Again, it takes two parameters. First being how long you want the transition to last, and second being the actual scene that you want to go to. Click play, click go back, click play, click go back, click play. There you go. There's obviously a flip X as well. These are only three or four if you include the flip X that I just mentioned. Transitions, there are so many transitions. If you want to know more, you can just email us and we'll help you out. Or better yet, just go on to Cocos 2 dxe website, go into the references section and they've got a huge reference section where you can have a look at basically all their code. Or even 
and what you can do I believe is if you go to the actual Cocos 2DX directory you click samples JavaScript shared tests and here there should be called something called scene test that will be in transitions test open that up and here you go you've got literally all the transitions that you can use we use the CC transition zoom flip Y there we also use the CC transition fade which is there and we also use the transition jump zoom which is just above it but like I said there's so many more there's like a rotate zoom moving out so without you moving from the left moving from the right moving from the top moving from bottom then they got sliding functions it's absolutely fantastic what you can do with it and here's just basically a list of all of them so you can just go into here and have a look at what you want to do but there you go that's transitions this is it for scenes if you have any questions just comment or message us and we will help as uh, best as we can it's even if you have questions regarding the C++ implementation of Cocos 2 dx we will try and help. Or general programming questions, we will help as best as we can. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at sprite animations. Because until now, we've been moving sprites or manipulating them in some capacity. But it's been very boring. There hasn't been any like animations to them. But that'll be for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.